hate when he used to say, I'm hungry. <laughs> it used to drive me crazy. I thought that was like a call for a hey, feed me, cook for me. You're gonna cook and you're hey, gonna woman. clean. Yeah. Hey, woman. <laughs> now it's so different. Even my mannerisms are different. I'm mm -hmm. like, I don't want my, I don't want because now husband you're me. To yeah. be hungry. We are one yeah. now. It's not that I'm just like settling down and this, and I'm a housewife now. Yeah. And this is right. what it is, and mm -hmm. it has nothing to do with that. I think it's just understanding what it really means to be married yes. under God mm -hmm. and like honor that and honor the family dynamic and honor the fact that you are a piece of this man's body. A lot of women are suffering in their marriages because they are fighting for control with their husbands. What is sad is now their husband is starting to be resentful, ignore them. Their husband does not care about their heart anymore. Their husband is not trying to please them anymore and they're wondering what's happening because they're saying to themselves, I'm making sure the family is good. What is your issue? And it's because that man who has been created to be a leader has been pushed down and silenced. And I'm telling you what they're telling me. They're saying, Tara, I got emotions too. I got ambitions too, but I have have a wife or I have this person they don't want to hear me they don't care about my opinions and if my opinions go against theirs then I'm supposed to submit to them ladies you have to understand what's happening in society because of the past where men have abused that submission and have not treated them as partners we have went all the way to the other side where now we are fighting for our leadership and we are fighting to be heard and we're fighting it to the point we're now treating them the same way I'm a man cannot protect what he does not have authority over. And if a woman wants a man to lead her, to cover her, to protect her, he cannot do that if he's not in the proper position. And if a woman only sees authority as dominion, or if she sees it as bondage, restriction, limitation, uh, she won't ever really truly be able to embrace the fullness of God's divine order and the benefit and the fruit that comes from it. And many times abuse, mistakes, and other people's offenses will keep a woman from surrendering or submitting or permitting authority in that area. And many times a man, the lack of teaching, the lack of example, and the lack of leadership will cause him not to assume that position. But if there's ever going to be a divine flow inside of the home, he can't lead without authority. You guys got it, man. A man can't cover and protect what he doesn't have authority over. Let's go ahead and come to you first, Jay. Uh, first answer this. What is authority? Authority, I would say, would be the ability to enforce ideals, the ability to dictate to someone and they actually listen. That's how I, that's how I see it. And I, I mean, I definitely, you know, because we see in public situations where, you know, you'll hear women say all these guys were standing around, nobody did anything, you know, and in some cases, you know, they might be correct, but in others, it's like, I have my own people that I look after, you know, if you're not, if you don't have that, that you're not, that's not for me to, you know, have authority over, like, you'll see where, if I have something to protect, I have to protect myself too, to make sure that I'm do I'm there for those people that I do have authority over. You understand what I'm saying? I'm not risking my life so that I can't be here for somebody that I love that actually needs me. Now, can I have compassion? Can I do things to ensure safety? Yes, I can do that, but I'm not going to risk my life on some, you know, when I have people that are dependent on me. So, and I think that is the, uh, that's the argument back and forth where we're in a new age where a lot of people don't have people to have authority over them. You know, you have women with fathers that have authority over them or, and you have a lot of women that don't have fathers that have authority. So they're just out here on their own. And when they're presented with these situations and these circumstances that call for a man's attention, there are no men there and not even willing to step into that, that spot. Okay. Um, Shan, Monet, 
You ready? All right, I got a question for you. Sure. Okay. Said so you're ready, right? <clears throat> you said you have a question for me, or you want me to answer that question? Yeah. In what situations do you think it's appropriate for authority to be shared or split in a relationship? Um, I just think it's to, it depends on the dynamic dynamic of your home. You know, um, I I do think that the man has the last say, so to speak. Um, but I found that. The guys I date don't like to be um, bothered with the petty stuff. <laughs> so when he comes home, he ain't trying to make no decisions. He just want the shit to be right. OK. And if I have to come with him with something because it's majorly important, then he'll step in. Um, so I guess it just depends on how hands on your mate is with what goes on in the house. When it comes to finances of things of that nature or something of great importance, for sure. Or you know, just major things. It's just I have the guys I have dated, the guy that I date does not like to be bothered with the he likes for when, when he comes here is already taken care of, so to speak. And I just come to him for the big things. <laughs> um, so. But if we ever ha we ever have an issue and it's between he and I, we listen to each other. And of course, he is the leader. So. That's how I roll. Okay. Well, you tried to clean it up towards the end. Right. Well, I, I listen, everybody, what you want me to do? Tell you the truth. I want you to be honest. So. That is, but that's my honesty. But of course, every household is different. People run their house. And that's another thing, too, when it comes to authority. Maybe authority looks like, hey, this is how I want the house. He's saying this is how, because this is a guy telling me this. This is how I roll. So that is him saying his authority. Like, look, I want you to do this so I don't have to do this. And then if you have anything, we can do this. So he's putting his authority, he's setting his, his standard, but I'm just following it. And it just looks a little different than being like an everyday situation. Does that make sense? Yeah, it, it does. When, before you go answer this, can or should authority evolve or shift over time in a relationship? Like, are there compromises? Actually, you gave me, uh, I wanted to ask, answer your last question, so i answer this one too. Um, yes, it can. And to give context, I want to answer your last question. When, uh, what did you ask? When does authority, when does... In what situations do you think it's appropriate for authority to be shared or split in a relationship? Authority should be shared or split depending on who bears the brunt of the responsibility or consequences of the action that uh, that takes place. You know what I mean? Whoever it falls on, that's the person who has the authority in that situation. For example, you tend to hear a lot of women command and demand that the man takes responsibility for her protection. Well, with that being said, comes a lack of authority on her part because you can't because now he has to tell you how to move out there in the world to ensure your protection. Whoever, you know, if you expect your man to control all the finances, you expect him to pay all the bills, then he has a, he has the authority to make changes and, and veto certain things because he bears the brunt of the responsibility when it comes to finances. So, yes, it depends on who shares the bulk of the consequences and the responsibility. So if shit was to hit the fan, who are you going to if you're going to look to him to blame him? Then that's who it falls on. And so he should have the authority in that. Or if you're going to look to her to blame her. So, for instance, when it comes to how the kids are raised or if they know something and you don't like the way they you look to her and you say, hey, look, I put this responsibility on you. Then she's the authority in how the kids are raised and what they're taught in this, that and the third, because you relinquish that control to her. 